Stretchable electronics is a relatively new and upcoming field with huge applications in the biomedical field. A stretchable electronic is a circuit that is placed on a stretchable substrate so it can be bent or curved in any direction while still remaining operable. This is very promising for the medical field because of the possibility to have a circuit curve and contour around human tissue and organs. Some examples of possible applications include smart bandages, heart regulation, and electronic skin. The research team we are working for is trying to design these circuits using a less time-intensive and wasteful additive printing process. The purpose of our project was to design a device that held a flexible substrate under tension while we printed on it with an inkjet printer. So when we were given this project, we had several basic requirements we had to fulfill. One was a size requirement. It had to be designed to a certain size so that it could fit on a printer that exists here in the Binghamton Labs so that we could use it for the testing that we needed to. Another one was force. We had to bury the force on the cloth sample. Three pounds, four pounds, five pounds of applied force for different amounts of tension. And then this force had to be stepped down over time. We couldn't just take it off. It, and also this device needed to be grounded out in case we wanted to use it for electrospin. We made two devices, a sample holder and a docking station. The sample holder held a flexible textile while the docking station held the sample holder and set a desired force to the sample holder. So early on we came up with an initial design for clamps and an initial design for a tensioning mechanism. We put it all into a sample holder, drew it up in Pro-E, and got it built. Once we had the prototype of the sample holder built, we were able to locate problems with the clamps and the tensioning mechanism. These issues were fixed in the final design of the sample holder. Now that we had the final design of the sample holder built, we were able to go ahead and design the docking station around that sample holder. So our final design ended up being two pieces. Here I am holding the sample holder, which has the main objective to basically hold the piece of fabric. We have a tensioning plate right here and a moving clamp right here. So as this gets pulled back this way, it also pulls back the moving clamp, which in turn places force on the fabric. This works with a docking station, which I have here. The, do the main job of the docking station is to help apply the force, so as you turn this screw, this piece moves back and forth, and in order for these to work together, the sample holder has to be placed into the docking station, and this moving piece here is responsible for pulling back the tensioning plate, and therefore the moving clamp, which results in a taut, flat surface of the fabric. 